Remember this video from a few weeks ago of Memphis Grizzly star Ja Morant appearing to flash a gun for the second time on an Instagram Live video? Yep, here's a clearer view of the firearm in question, just in case you missed it. NBA Commissioner Adam Silver sat down with ESPN journalist Malika Andrews following this second incident, and he had this to say. My concern, and I thought he shared with me, that millions, if not tens of millions of kids globally would see him as having done something that was celebrating in a way. You know, that, that act of, of, of sort of, 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 of using a firearm in that fashion. And so I at least was left um, with the sense that he was taking this incredibly seriously. So honestly, I was shocked. Uh, now that Silver and the NBA have reportedly finished their investigation into that second video, Silver shared an update on John Morant's possible punishment for next season. In, in assessing um, what discipline is appropriate, if, if that's the case, um, we look at both the history of prior acts, but then we look at the individual player's history as well. And so th that, and, and the seriousness, of course, of the conduct. So those are all things that get factored. Um, it's, it's not an exact science. It comes down to judgment at the end of the day. We've uncovered a fair amount um, of additional information. I think since I was still asked about the situation, I would say we probably could have brought it to a head now, but we made the decision, and I, and I believe the Players Association agrees with us, that it would be unfair to these players and these teams um, in the middle of the series to announce the results of that investigation. And given that we're, of course, in the offseason, he has now been suspended um, by, his, by the Memphis Grizzlies indefinitely, and so nothing is, would have changed anyway in the next few weeks. Now, we've seen a lot of punishments and suspensions come down in the NBA for various reasons, but we haven't seen is when they wait until after the finals are over and after all of the championship ceremonies have been done to actually hand out such a negative thing like this. I guess they didn't want it to interfere with the play on the court and also the talk around the league, especially something so negative as this. And also, as longtime ESPN NBA journalist Brian Windhorst says, this is something new that shouldn't be taken lightly. I've never heard anything like it. It was very unusual for him to basically say, I know what I'm going to do, but I'm not going to announce it now. And the second part is that he brought up that he's working alongside the Players Association in this. He's obviously bringing them along side by side. Trust me, typically the Players Association isn't there, you know, as the discipline is being decided on and, and doled out. So this is a situation that is wide ranging. And quite frankly, the indication here is that this is going to be a significant suspension. This is not the, the tone and the, and the tenor and the fact that the Players Association is involved does not indicate this is going to be something similar to what we've seen before. And Windhorse was not the only NBA journalist that was weighing in on what the next couple of weeks are going to look like for John Morant. They haven't even spoken to John Morant on the suspension yet. Um, I don't believe they've informed the PA exactly what the suspension is going to be. At the end of the day, this is Adam Silver. Joe Dumars call. Those are the people that are going to be, you know, along with the rest of the league office, they're going to be, and at the end of the day, it falls on Adam Silver. You know, these suspensions, last time when, when John Morant got suspended eight games, that was an Adam Silver decision. Uh, he met with John Morant. John Morant told him, you know, I understand this. Won't happen again. He does it again. So here we are in round two of the John Morant suspension drama. People are wondering, is it going to be Double the eight games that he got the first time since it's his second infraction. Maybe half the season. It dances at so many different things. But the fact that they're changing things up and the way that they're announcing it, the way that Adam Silver isn't really wanting to destroy what's going on with the finals, it seems like it's going to be pretty significant. And also, probably to send a message everywhere else within the league. Adam Silver's probably trying to find a way to lay down a specific standard of what it is that they're trying to see happen with many of these players. Um, if I had to guess, I'd say we're looking at about a half of a season of a suspension here. Something that's going to definitely lay down that type of standard for them, but also not completely derail the season. Maybe, but most likely not. I would say we're looking at a 41-game suspension.